Hi, my name is Michael, and this is the third in the series of videos uh, concerning the creation of a work RVU tracker for physicians. And uh, for those of you following along, the first video showed the step-by-step -step techniques for collecting data off the government website for CPT codes, description, and work RVU values, and downloading that into an Excel spreadsheet. The second video showed the techniques, again, step by step, by which you import the data from the Excel spreadsheet to an access database, create a table, and uh, clean up the data by removing those RVU values that equal zero, as well as um, eliminating duplicate data with the technique of using a delete query. <clears throat> In this video, I would like to um, create a form, a search form for the CPT codes. Now that you have the data, um, now let me open that and show you the uh, CPT, the description. Uh, this field is called Descript, D-E-S-C-R-I-P, and R-V-U, um, and um, of which there's... 6,965 rows. Okay, and each one of these correspond to a different, um, each CPT correspond to a different description and a different RVU value. Well, um, first thing you create a, a blank form and you can name that form virtually anything you want by convention, uh, FRM, C. PT search FRM stands for form and uh, save that and close it. So the um, and we'll close this form too. Now when you open it, do you open it up to a blank? Uh, there's nothing. There's absolutely nothing on this form. So to manipulate it, you can go to the uh, layout view property sheet and uh, start changing the form around a little bit. One of the things you don't need are record selectors, that's a no, uh, or navigation buttons, that's a no. And um, you can see form is, is in your drop-down window. You actually only have two things, detail, which is this palette, if you would, the empty palette, and the form is the entire properties of the form. Um, and make it a pop-up window, yes. And then there's, I think, auto center, yes, is also nice. And every time you do something, you can save it and go back to the form view and you have something that looks like that, which isn't very impressive. So to keep it from looking like that, you can put on a text box, of which you don't really even need the, um, the label. It automatically creates a label. And you can add a button, cancel that, and um, so you have a text box and a button to give the text box a meaningful name. It says name TX. It's right now it's called TX0. Let's call it uh, TXCPT. Okay, and we'll call the button CMD CMD Go. And we'll give it a name of Go, a caption of Go. And it's a little too big. Maybe instead of a full inch, we'll call it a half an inch. That's about right. So now if you save and close and reopen, you get something that looks like this. Okay. Right click here, form. Um, let's do it a different design view. You can make this a little bigger. Uh, center this, save that, close it, reopen it, and you got something that looks like this. Okay, so let's type in 99244 and click the Go button, and nothing happens. So um, what you'd like to see happen is you click in uh, 10021, click your Go button, and um, it would 
give you a message of what the CPT code, the description, and the RVU value. To do that, you need to do some manipulation of, um, of the button and give it a click event. And this is, in my opinion, where MS Access gets kind of interesting, where you can use data that you've imported and, and um, draw on that data through a click event and display it in a message box. So um, let's just by way of review go back and um, make sure you remember that the fields here is CPT, Descript, and RBU value. Okay, because that becomes pretty important when you want to retrieve that information from that table. Now the other thing that you may want to do is give this a caption called search. CPT. Okay, let's save that. Close it one more time. Open it. Search CPT. Right click, layout view, highlight your go button, go to the events tab, and this is called, for whatever reason, the ellipsis. These, this little circle with three dots. And if you click on that, you have a number of options. If you go to the code builder, you'll use your VBA code. Well, it's my goal to do this strictly with, uh, with macro building. So if you click on there, and you have a number of pull-down windows of which you can do a variety of things, but one of the more important ones is message box. And if you just type MS, MES, it'll come up and um, gives you a message. And you can say, just hello, save and close, save and close. And if you go to your, this is the navigation pane over here, double click here. There's your pop-up search CPT. Type in 99244 and click your go button and you get the message hello. Okay, not very meaningful. So, um, one thing about message box that if you put an equal sign, you might notice that it you get this builder uh, little icon pop up. Let's delete it, put an equal sign in. You can see that every time you put an equal sign in there, <clears throat> the builder box opens up. So leave the equal sign, click on the builder box, and we'll do what's called a D lookup. And this is a IntelliSense. As you start typing, it gives you various options, various legal options. Okay, so you can click on that. And D lookup is the same as the V lookup in a way for those who really know, understand X or Excel. <clears throat> In Access, they have a D-lookup. So what we're interested in is looking up um, some information. And um, let's put it inside there. Open brackets, close the brackets. <coughs> and what, what we're interested in is the RVU value. <coughs> and if you comma, you can see it will, it will bold the, the next step in the criteria or they call them arguments. Um, and we want to get this information from TBL data. And the criteria is when the CPT, CPT in the table data equals, equals, put the equal sign in, close, double quotation marks, and percent equals, quote, uh, double quotation marks bracket and as you recall we labeled it txt cpt that's the name of the text box close brackets double quotation mark and close brackets which closes off that bracket is that closing bracket right there so click OK and save and close save and form view and now, well, let's just close it all the way, reopen it from the navigation pane. 
let's do one zero zero two one FNA find needle aspiration biopsy gives you an RVU value of one point two seven and that's actually the correct amount so if you go to table and look at the very first value if if you typed in CPT code one uh, zero zero one point two one you get an RVU value of 1.2. Close that. All right, well, what about the description? Uh, you can also get the, um, the description. And one of the things about macros, it is uh, copy and paste is very easy. So put an ampersand and control V and you pasted it twice. And um, actually, you can do some other things. Well, let's just do it this way, and I'll show you. Uh, double click here, and as you remember, it's description D E S C R I P C C R I P Descript. So it's going to be the same thing, but let's put a couple of spaces in between it. And with that, you need another ampersand. Save and close, save and close, just close it, I'll reopen it, 10021. So now you have um, RVU value of 1.27 when finding the aspiration biopsy with imaging. Okay, now you might want to just switch it around. And to show you it's possible to do that, go back to your ellipsis. Um, cut here, paste here, cut here, oops, paste here, and you can say, comma, our work, RVU equals, that looks right. Save and close. Save and close. Reopen. 10021. Click there. RVU value without imaging. Oh, sorry. Find needle aspiration without imaging. Work RVU value equals 1.27. Okay. Um, I think I'll end it there. In the next video, I'll show you another technique for searching for descriptions of the using the RVU uh, the CPT code and uh, putting in uh, keywords to to search for various descriptions. Uh, I'll close that.